Okay, it's my 2004 Yamaha V Star 1100. We're getting ready to do the clutch in her, change the plates. I've seen a video on YouTube where they put some blocks underneath the tires, help get it up to lean the bike over. Um, so when you pull your crankcase half out, your ca uh, crankcase cover off, you don't lose all your oil. Without any help to put them on the blocks, I have decided to give it up. Screw it. I will buy new oil. Anyway, what we're going to do, we need to take the footrest off. So we'll have to unhook the cables and hoses and whatnot. We're going to take the exhaust off. And then we got to take this little cover right here off. Then the oil filter cover, the bolts out for the clutch housing or the clutch uh, crankcase uh, cover. Pull that apart, and our clutch plates are behind that. So, as I said, I'm the only one here, so it's going to be a stop and go video. But uh, should be uh, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, never done one on a road bike. Done one on a dirt bike a long time ago. So something new anyway back in a few okay we have our pipe off um, after spraying the the nuts down holding on the pipe to the head it uh, came off fairly easy drops it down out of the way and as you can see we have plenty of room there so we don't have to drop the footrest all the way off just took the two bolts out um, now we're going to take off this cover, the oil filter cover behind it, all the bolts out for the crankcase cover, and our clutches will be right behind it. And as I said in the beginning, if we uh, if we lose some oil, oh well, no big deal. Um, it is kind of fresh oil, not too many miles on it, um, so I won't be replacing the oil filter this time around. Um, but you know I can always buy fresh oil one other thing as you can tell the bike is dirty I've had a lot of people say I should clean it up and maybe I should it looks beautiful with all the chrome chrome don't get you home the bike was made to ride not for show so I ride it if your bike is all the time polished and all the time looking good then you're spending more time cleaning than you are riding also um, you can leave a couple of the screws in two or three um, just a little bit to hold that cover from completely flying off and digging it up uh, what you're going to want to use is a rubber mallet you don't want to go beating on it with a metal one um, we'll use the mallet to pop it loose uh, if that doesn't work I'm sure there's a couple points uh, back in here possibly and I believe there's one up in here where I might be able to uh, get a screwdriver in there and just tweak it a little bit um, to break it loose you won't want to go pounding a screwdriver in there or a chisel or anything you'll screw up the aluminum and just cause you more headaches you're either going to end up replacing a cover or end up using a whole lot of Permatex or something and it's just not cool so I've taken all the screws out. I'm going to use the mallet to pop the cover off. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll use the screwdrivers and uh, go from there. Great news, great news. The bike is leaning over far enough with just them couple of blocks there to keep all the oil to the other side of the crankcase, which is great. Uh, pop the cover off, no troubles. Um, one section where there's torn gasket right down there below the where the oil filter goes there um, no big deal we're gonna scrape that off scrape the cover off got new gaskets for that anyway and right there are your clutch plates so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these screws out behind these screws or springs you wanna turn them one and a half two turns each don't pull them all you know one at a time out all the way out uh, there's a lot of pressure on them springs 
and you're going to bind everything up and you could possibly break something then you're looking at even investing even more money into it but that's what we got to change our clutch plates right here there's a friction plate and a steel plate then another friction plate uh, one thing you'll want to do also before you uh, start this project I should have mentioned earlier you're going to want to soak your plates this is a, a wet clutch system you're going to want to soak your plates in oil so I have right there my clutch plate soaking in oil um, ideally you want to soak them overnight make sure they're good and wet so you don't tear anything up when you uh, put it all back together and get going um, in the background there I know it's uh, kind of messed up right now it's a 650 Kawasaki it's a 1976 Kawasaki KZ 650 first bike I ever bought for my wife uh, somebody sabotaged it years ago um, she only got to ride it one time so we're gonna eventually do a ground up restoration on that and uh, if this video and everything comes out okay uh, we'll probably shoot a video on that also anyway back to the V-Star and we will be back as soon as we get the uh, clutch plates off okay we've got the uh, pressure plate off got all the clutch discs out and the steel rings there's a steel ring then friction plate steel ring friction plate steel ring friction plate there's uh, eight five six seven eight friction plates in this steel ring in between each one there's one more steel ring in there um, I can't for some reason get that one to come out um, but that's the last one and it's okay um, we don't really have to worry about that one here's our friction plates that I took out and I don't know how good you can see but uh these plates are quite worn of course the bike uh, like I said had under 2,000 miles when I got it I think it had uh, like 1,200 or 1,500 miles when I got it and I'm up uh, around 18,000 now like I said I've had it probably six seven years so anyway when you take these out you want to slide that whole piece off and try to leave them all in order um, at this point if this were a new friction plate we'd slide it in first um, here's your your steel ring that goes in between them now you'll see that this here is kind of a uh, I don't know how good you can see it um, this is kind of a sharp edge like a sharp cut the back side is rounded that rounded I think you can see it there see how the tips look kind of rounded off kind of smooth on this side they look a little bit sharper okay you want the sharp side out to you the rounded side will go in first like this we are going to take uh, some 180 grit sandpaper kind of scuff these up a little bit before we put them back in there and then we'll put uh, our friction plate and then steel ring friction plate steel ring friction plate steel ring I was wrong on the springs behind them bolts this is a little bit different style than what I am used to this is your spring your pressure plate um, the ones I am used to is like a regular flat plate that would sit in there and then you have individual springs that go in there and tighten it down but anyway we're gonna uh, take some sandpaper and scuff these up as we go along and start putting this back together okay there's our old friction plates on the floor there's our pressure plate there's our clutch basket with the new friction plates in um, as I said remember when you put the steel rings in have the sharp side out there are some grooves 
can't really see them too well right at the moment with this light here but there's some grooves on these on these friction plates here's a good uh, okay you can see how you've got the smooth ends right here and then there's two grooves there on the opposite end you have one now I see nothing that really lines up with these um, that would slide into them grooves or anything but the way I took it apart all of the double grooves were on one side the single grooves you can't see it but single grooves are on the opposite side so try to put it back together the way you took it apart um, so if you see all the double grooves like my, on, on my clutch basket here they were in the 11 o'clock position so that's where I put them back so that they would uh, be just like it was when I come apart and then there's our pressure plate also with this 1100 you got this bearing right here okay make sure you don't lose it make sure this is all cleaned up when you put it back together um, scuff up your steel plates and then your clutch basket uh, just so I don't lose this I am going to put the bearing on here first it came off with the pressure plate but you got that washer there there's enough oil on there maybe it should stick um, if we hear it fall then we know it didn't work okay and it's still there so there we go now we're ready for our pressure plate and the cover and everything start putting everything back together um, one thing one thing you'll want to uh, um, make sure of is that you got all of the see, see some of that grit that's still on there of course I haven't really cleaned this off yet I'm going to pull that off and clean it but um, just make sure you uh, uh, put everything back together in the opposite direction you took it apart and you should be just fine okay I know it's not cleaned up yet but I wanted to point something out right quick as I'm tightening these down uh, you'll find that one bolt is an oddball bolt now same thread size all of these these ones here are longer them longer ones of course went here or the thicker part of the cover shorter ones down here but you'll find one that doesn't seem to fit in any of the holes it has a longer shoulder on it and it's a little bit bigger around in the shoulder although it's the same thread as the rest of them and if you run into that one that one goes right down here in the bottom of this oil filter cover it goes right there in the bottom so if you uh, run across one that doesn't seem to fit any of the holes and you put it in down there that's where she goes okay and there she is all back together the only thing left to do is take her for a test ride which I probably won't do tonight but there she is Let's see if we can get her to fire up she is at least she runs anyway I will uh, take her for a test ride probably in a little bit or in the morning um, it's uh, getting pretty cold out right now to go for a ride but anyway hope this helps y'all out peace